good morning and good afternoon so what i want to do now is that uh, Achil had brought this up and uh, one other thing for Bhim, I mean, we are working on that Masati uh, Pattana Sutta, so it also helps in understanding different kinds of uh, Vimukti or uh, Cheto Vimukti. So the, there are two things, one is Panya Vimukti, Cheto Vimukti, which we have already uh, covered. The without Buddha Dhamma. Let's say, I want to enter into all the jhanas using breath meditation or some mantras that is also Chito Vimukti. So it is temporary suspension of the chitta to stick on to something. So what I can do is, same principle I can use wherein I say Ethan, Santan, Ethan, Panitan, recite it and do the Savitakka Savichara Piti Sukha Ekagata. So you can enter into the four jhana and letting go of the four jhana, you enter into the infinite space and infinite consciousness, and then um, the nothingness and neither perception nor non perception. These eight jhanas, if you can do it at will, whenever you want, wherever you are, however you are, through either by Sitting, standing, doing whatever you are doing, that Vimukti is Chito Vimukti, which is temporary. First one. If you add Vipassana to it, like what is done in the Goenka technique or any other technique, it takes into consideration a portion of vipassana or vipassana that is the body sensation and you go into the bhanga and then that is far better vimukti than the normal suppression, samatha only. But this is also temporary, better than just that without vipassana. Okay. Then we have Akupa Cheto Vimukti, that is unshakable state of the chitta or the mind, which is full liberation, which is Arhat. So this is one way of knowing that, that is by applying the Vipassana, that is, let's say I am using Mahasati Pathana Sutta, I can do Everything what is mentioned there without vipassana, so then I can get into cheto vimukti. I apply a portion of vipassana, then I get into vipassana jnana with cheto vimukti. So the, the, the maximum part is cheto vimukti and the minor part is vipassana. Then if I go on the total panya, not worrying about the cheto vimukti or not accomplishing cheto vimukti, that becomes panya vimukti, liberated through wisdom. And this is also final liberation, that is akuppa cheto vimukti and panya vimukti, both are final liberation, which is arhat, pala samapatti. The first one, the Cheto Vimukti is the first part of what I am talking about, will take the person into Brahma realm of existence, but then there is always a chance of coming back into different realm of existence. The second type what I am saying will take only till Anagami, it will not take him to the Arhat, Palasamapati. So the person can be a Sota Panna and Sakadagami and Anagami, but cannot go further than that. So the temporary here means that the permanent release is not there. So don't think that temporary means that it is temporary. No, it is little bit of Vipassana is there, but more of Samatha practice is there. So the person can go up till Anagami, so he will be liberated, released in the Brahma realm. He would not come back here, but he would not get released either. Or if he is Sakadagami, then he will have one life to lead. If he is a Sota Panna, he has seven lives to lead. Okay. So 
So this vimukti, vimukti means liberation, takes seven lives in Sotapanna, one life in Takadagami, and released through Brahma realm is what is a little bit of vipassana and more of the Cheto Vimukti. Okay. So any practice we do which is sitting meditation for long hours is Cheto Vimukti with little bit of vipassana. Got it. Why? Because it doesn't lead to final liberation. It's there in the suttas. There are a lot of suttas which explain, but just I'm just summarizing from everything that is being there. So the non ari way of doing it is just the Cheto Vimukti, which is temporary suspension, liberation, but there is rebirth. So after the end of that cycle, that being can be born anywhere. If you if we follow the Buddha Dhamma, you will not be born anywhere, but you will be born in Sotapanna, sorry, in the human realm or in the Deva realm or in the Brahma realm. You would not be born in the Apayas. With the second one on what I am talking about. Akupa Chekto Vimukti and the, the next one, the Panya Vimukti. It is final liberation. That is, they both will take to the Arhat. Okay. Then we come to the next two sections. The next section is Panya Vimukti with Cheto Vimukti. Panya Vimukti with Cheto Vimukti. That is final liberation. Yes, may I will just put another one and then you can ask a question. Then, final one, the last one is Ubato Bhaga Vimukti. Okay, that is also final liberation. So, how many types of Vimuktis we have? Five. One is, oh, sorry, six. One is with just Cheto Vimukti. One is with Cheto Vimukti, but little with Vipassana. One is Akupa Cheto Vimukti. Then, the, sorry, ah, Kupa Cheto Vimukti, then we have Panya Vimukti, then we have Panya Vimukti with Cheto Vimukti, then we have Ubato Bhaga Vimukti. The six kinds of Vimukti, what a person can get into. And Vimukti is liberation of the mind from whatever it is doing. You cut off the mind from whatever it is involved with. Yes, May, you had a question. I was just uh, wanting to ask with the Panya Vimukti, um, how much jhana do you need for that? Or do you, do you need no jhana? Do you need like, I don't know, one or two jhanas? Yes, Sachin wants to answer. No, even for jhana, minimum requirement is for jhana. Up to three, four are sufficient. Beyond four, you are not panya Okay, so thank you. Yeah, let me give you the answer through the sutta. If you are doing panya vibhukti, there is no samatha practice. You are just directly on the vipassana. That means there is no need for you to get into any jhanas at all. No jhana. The, then we might ask a question then is that a jhana not a requirement? The assumption is that you are already in jhana. Okay, so there is no need for establishing jhana. Cheto Vimukti is for those people who, whose mind keeps on going on different objects and then there is, they don't have a Shanti or Santi in Pali. Because yes. the definition of first jhana itself is Vivechehi Kameni, Vivechehi Hakusile Dhammedi. Correct. Which is minimum requirement for everyone with the Dhamma. Exactly. So now, whether should I practice the Samatha or should I practice the Vipassana? Should I only practice Vipassana, no Samatha? There is one Sutta called Yuganda Sutta. We had covered it long time ago when we had taken the, um, what is that, Patisambiddha Magga Pali. At that time we had spoken about it. There is Yuganda itself in the Patisambiddha Magga Pali where Sariputta explains the entire Yuganda 
in that he talks about the different um, um, indriyas ubhato bhaga cheto vimukti can only happen when the indriyas are balanced otherwise it will not happen so i'll i'll cover that up on ubhato bhaga cheto vimukti and also try to tell you what i did did, did in vri on each one of these experimentation so looked into all of these different kinds of uh, experiences so if you apply this what happens if you apply that what happens so, so these are the six different kinds of chetumo vimuktis and where it is written if you refer to mahashunya sutta and also chula shunya sutta you will get the idea with and without there is vipassana in a little bit part more of samatha where you keep on making shunyata okay these are the first two kinds one just the samatha second samatha with little bit of vipassana third only vipassana fourth vipassana plus samatha fifth balancing of both which is ubhato bhaga chetto vimukti oh sorry ubhato bhaga vimukti so if i look at um, mind illuminated that book exactly practice as indicated in that book it will give me samatha if i add certain portions of buddha dhamma it gives me the samatha plus little bit of vipassana so this mahasatti patthana sutta can be done in both ways can be done in number 1 just samatha just samatha nothing to do with vipassana now when will i apply vipassana when you go to dhamma anupassana if you are applying as per dhamma anupassana then you are doing vipassana is that a full vipassana or a partial vipassana it is ubhato bhaga vimukti mahasatti patthana sutta if practice correctly it will give you ubhato bhaga vimukti vimukti from two parts one is samatha one is vipassana people are either on samatha or some people are on vipassana some people on little bit of vipassana more of samatha some people are more on vipassana and less of samatha so their combination yes go ahead yes sachin you are on mute if you add n 9.43 43 445 he has clearly defined but it get i get confused in that because in that chetu vimukti word is not used instead he used kaya takhi so what is the explanation i am going to cover that yes me um, if you just practice samatha then do you get any insight or must you do vipassana to have insight no 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 you will get insight see in all see first and foremost you need to look at there is a section there is a sutta called atham vimokha eight vimokha or vimokha sutta that is through body what you can do you have to first practice that atha vimokha so there is one satchi karaniya sutta okay this is a very important sutta but it's only four liners so you might not even understand what it is satchi karaniya sutta what it does is that it will talk about atha vimukha and it is also there in um, mahan nidana sutta dn16 explains that what you should do now first you need just have to remember this there are atta vimukha eight liberations of the body which also includes four arupa janas so you should be able to practice all the eight janas at will at any place at any time any situation okay whether you are adding vipassana to it or not adding vipassana to it it doesn't matter you should get eight janas 
and you should know that you have attained first jhana, second jhana, third, fourth, like that. You should not be faltering in that. Meaning, you shouldn't get stuck in any of the jhanas and you should be able to know that, ha, this is faded away, the next jhana has appeared, or that has faded away, the next jhana has appeared, till the neva sanyana sanyayatana. This is the first practice. If you want to understand this vimukti through chitta, Now, may, whether you will get insight or no insight, insight meditation is vipassana. So, 99.9% .9 you will not have any insight if you are just practicing samatha. But it will calm the mind. What is meaning of calming the mind? We forget the word mind, you take it as chitta. What is calming the chitta? The chitta has lot of currents, lot of things which are coming into it, it will stop. So, it's like pure water without any dirt. No concomitants can be found. So, it's a peaceful state of the mind. The Brahma realm is a very peaceful state of the mind. So, you will attain the Brahma realm if you were to practice Samatha. So, the first thing I need to do in any Dhamma I am following is to have Sama Atha. Samatha. Sama is equal, Atha is to stay. So, you Samatha is to stay in an equanimous state. First, I have to bring in equanimity. And that equanimity can only happen if I practice Samatha. Yes, yes, Sachin and then are you. Yeah, and uh, Samatha and Vipassana are called two wings, right? That means you cannot have one without another. So even if some, uh, some guy is practicing only Samatha, naturally, without his reading anything, some, some form of Vipassana will occur in him. For example, if he gets into the deathless state, he will get understanding that I am not dying, I am not birthing. Even that, I mean, any, any even a layman, if he gets into Cheto Vimukti of Samatha to that extent, he will minimum he will see something. That kind of occurrence of vipassana inside will happen in him naturally, but it is low and it will take its own time. Correct. Anyway, let's park it. What we need to know is Samatha is tranquility, equanimity, making the mind chill. Yes, sir. You sorry. You wanted to say something. Yeah, no problem. In 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 many suttas, uh, the Buddha says even uh, uh, Parinibbana Sutta. There there is a monk. Uh, there is a person. The last person went to Buddha, and then he he said this Cheto Vimutti and 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 the Panya Vimutti. He usually used two side by side, right? So so these people are the ones. One case you mentioned have both together, right? So. All the cases where he used. so it seemed fairly common in the suttas. Like okay, Chaito Vimutti. So the, so I, that Vimutti. is correct. But we need to know whether you have done Ubato Haga Vimukti or you have done Cheto Vimukti or you have done only Panya Vimukti or you have done both Panya and Cheto Vimukti or you have done Cheto plus Vipassana. This Panya Vimukti is Vipassana. Cheto Vimukti is Samatha. So all these cases where Buddha said Cheto Vimuttim and then uh, Panya Vimuttim is the combination, but may not be balanced, right? Otherwise, no. So we'll cover that if possible to date. Sir. Okay. So how many types of Cheto Vimukti are there? We are coming to Cheto Vimukti. How many types? Eight, not one. Eight. Now, where it is there? Mahavedala Sutta talks about all the eight. Chetovim. Now, four, you have missed out on the Metta is one, Karuna is another one, Mudita is another one, Upekha is another one. There's a four plus four. Okay. So, now what I can do is Adukha Asukha. Cheto Vimukti. This is till fourth jhana, like in the Samanya Palasutta. If you go by that, 
he will attain the four jhanas, one, two, three, four, and he has given examples, so I don't have to tell you what you would see and what you would not see. That way of getting into that is adukha asukha cheto vimukti. This is the first kind. TN2 is the reference to that. That appa manyas cheto vimukti is what I just now said in the Mahavidala Sutta. Okay, that's four, five. Right? Then akinchanya cheto vimukti. That is, if you go into akinchayatana, this one another cheto vimukti. Why? Objects are not there. Senses are there, no objects. Yes, yes, uh, that's it. It's not about going into that realm, it's about staying in that realm and then being free. No, when you go there, when you reach there, when you attain there, use whatever word you want, you, you, there is release. Yeah, it's state of anybody temporarily, sir. Yeah. So you will have a release from whatever you are holding. Then there is Shunyata Cheto Vimukti. Emptiness. Where the senses didn't have the sense objects, here neither the senses nor the sense objects are experienced. It's Shunya. Okay. Then the final one is Animitta Cheto Vimukti. Is again there in the Mahavidala Sutta. Okay. So, what it really means for me? Forget about these references and all that. What is it in? What is it for me? If I am practicing, what is it for me? If I am able to attain four jhanas at will, it is adhukka sukha cheto vimukti. So when I whenever something bad or good strikes. I can withdraw it and go to the fourth jhana. What the point? So let's say I'm in the office. The meetings are going on. It's a boring meeting. But yet I want to listen to whatever is happening. But shouldn't get involved with it. Then I can enter into the first jhana. It cuts. Second jhana, it basically makes your body very calm. Third jhana, it makes the body and the mind very calm. Fourth jhana. There is nothing felt. So you are there, yet not there. If somebody asks you a question, you can answer, but you are just relaxed. This is the first thing. Adukha Asukha Cheto Vimukti. Then the same office, I can be with Metta, Karuna, Mudita, Upekha. Considering everyone as mine, Aha mave ro homi, abhya pajo homi, ani go homi, suki atanam pariharami. If I am only taking these four lines and practicing for myself and the others, I will get into first karuna because I am feeling very happy but the others are not. Then I am in metta because that maitri bhava will help me. Then mudita, I feel very joyous of anybody getting appreciated or whatever it is and then Upek, equanimous. If somebody comments on me in a bad way, good way, whatever way, it is not creating any ripples in the chitta, which is the mind. The second kind. Okay. Then cutting the sense objects. The male, female, office, house, cut it off. If you can do that, the senses are active but no, no, no sense object. So the vinyana becomes pure. So that's the third kind. Okay, where I have akinchanya cheto vimukti. And then again I go to the office. Okay. I cut out both the senses and the sense object. So it's blank. So let's say nobody has come in the morning. Let's say I go at 6.30 and office generally starts at people will come at 9.30, 10. So I get three and a half hours. Just cut off. 
So that becomes Shunyata Chetra Vibhuk. The three hours just goes away. You, ca you can't even know when the three hours went or how the three hours went. So you are in sleep, basically. The deep sleep state is Shunyata. So you can do that. But it's still a Chetra Vimukti. It's not Panya Vimukti. Yes. See, there are three ways which I understand is I, I am in the world, I bring back my attention to the somewhere I, I ground myself, let's say breathe. And I can deliver it. But another another is another way approach of Panya and approach of Cheto Vimukti, I am understanding is this. Cut off means bring back to something, to give something. Breathe. I am I'm, I'm in the meeting, but I am observing my breathe. And another thing is Panya Vimukti for me is I have built, I have done lot of interrogation uh, and all that kind of thing, personal practice, introspection and all. And I have built the understanding of uh, this one, Jigutsa or Anich, Anicha, Ananta, Jigutsa, uh, not interested, not important, but not birth, Dukkha. If that over a period of time that builds into me, I have a natural tendency of not getting involved. Wait, 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 wait. But when you take it cut off, I'm not even putting into this, and I'm not able to put into that. Cut off means um, you are a normal guy who lo loves to party, and then suddenly he can turn it off. Right? That is difficult for me to understand. I can understand will, I can understand uh, diver, but I cannot understand cut off. But you are involved. But right now you can say, okay, switch off. No, no, I'm just giving illustration. Whether that is possible or not possible is a separate issue altogether. I'm, I'm not talking about what is possible. I'm just giving a local or a day-to-day -day example to say the differences of Adukka, Asukha to the Animitta. Yeah. So whatever, whatever way you can cut off, you mean to say, right? But this is sudden cut off is not uh, graspable to me, right? That's okay. Uh -huh. See, what I'm saying is, how many types? Eight types. And you can do all the eight types. In whichever way you do it, you will get Cheto Vimukti. So let's say, like I was giving an example, I went to VRI, I, I and Shreyas, we got on the car, got off the car, and uh, after uh, filling up the application form and uh, finishing, as soon as I came out of it, I started working out on the Animitta, so in half an hour time, cut off, gone. No VRI, no Goenka, not that I am in this place, nothing. This is Animitta, no Nimitta, no sign, no symbol. Now if you ask me, is it easy to do or difficult to do, that is a separate thing altogether. But that's still a Cheto Vimukti. I just wanted to give you a clarity that that's still a Cheto Vimukti. It's not Panya Vimukti. It is Cheto Vimukti. I just want to give you that clarity. Now to that, I add Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta, Rasubha, this, that, and so many other things. Then it is becomes Vipassana, a little bit of Vipassana into this Cheto Vimukti. It's a huge Cheto Vimukti and a little bit of Vipassana. Yes, sir, you go ahead. Uh, Previously, uh, so just now you said the shunyata, Chaita Vimutti, will be the same as deep sleep. And then previously you said it's equivalent to the eighth jhana is the deep sleep. So are they equivalent? Good question. Nice one. Shunya, empty. Emptying of what? This is where the, there's a lot of argument between Shankaracharya and the Buddhist. In, in a long time. Because he could, they couldn't explain to Shankaracharya, what are you talking at Shunyata? So they, he took it like no Atma. So that means who is seeing and so a lot of things happened. So they ultimately have to accept defeat. The Shunya here is, when you are in Shunya, when you are in deep sleep, can you say I am sleeping? No. Can you say you are waking? No. Now, can that be termed as an eight jhana? No. Because here you have made it Shunya. It's not that you you, are un, you have no idea how it happened. Like we go into the sleep. 
So if you look at the Chula Shunyata Sutta, what does he explain? How to, how to get into Shunya? If you've seen, both sides are going. The sai, eye is also going, the sight is also going, correct? The ear is also going, the sound is also going. The nose is going, the smell is going. So you, you start cutting off. That is, you cut off the conscious experience of a smell or a taste or a touch and a, all that. Let's say you are able to do it perfectly. Then you are in Shunya. It's empty. Now, how do you get into that emptiness is, a, is a, another story altogether, right? Yes. I guess based on my limited understanding of the Chula Shunita Sutta, how you do it is you make a manasikara of things, right? Basically removing one thing after that another from the, the sutta. Ma that is in the sutta, are you? But how you experience it is, it's your way of doing it, right? Sutta says you do a, a manasikara. But how do you pull out the mind from that? It is like pulling out, right? You're pulling it out. Some people can do it. Some people cannot do it. They can understand what is he saying, but might not be able to get it, might not be able to practice it, right? So now let's say I'm seeing you, but should I withdraw my mind? I think I should, but how? How do I make it shunya? Yes, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. So previously you were describing like a, at one stage in the sutta, it says make the earth with the cow skin, right? And that once you remove that, it becomes spacious, like it go to the basically uh, the infinite space. And then it keeps on going in the jhana path, right? This Chilashanita Sutta also take you probably to the eighth jhana like that. Or is that it the does. difference? It does. I'm not saying no, but don't confuse yourself between the eighth jhana. This is the Neva Sanyana Sanyayatana versus the Shunyata. Oh. So this Chula Shunyata Sutta, the Shunyata in this is Shunyata. may take... If you, if you go down into that, he says, what is Shunyata? How you should break the last one also? Mm. The general definition of Shunyata, general definition of Shunyata is empty of something. So it is a very relative word. When Akinchana, Shunyata of Akinchana Ayatana is the last bit that you are freed from that you are still holding some perception of Sunyata. And that perception, if you draw, then it is eighth jhana, empty of perception. Another thing, yeah, he's right. Another thing in that same sutta, Aryu, if you go down, what does he say? Even after that, something has remained. What? Jeevit Indriya six. and the six senses. Got it. The life remains. Yes. Life remains. Once that removed, that's true shunya. That yeah. you can, that's what he says. That's the max you can okay. go without, without committing suicide. But what I'm trying to say is that is still what? Samatha or Cheto Vimukti. So, yeah, I understood what you are trying to say. All that, when you say you are master of Cheto Vimukti, that's what you are saying. Whenever you are saying, I can get into, get into this, all are Cheto Vimukti. Yes. So, Ubato Bhaga, one part is Cheto Vimukti. First part is Cheto Vimukti. Now we come to the Panya Vimukti. Got it. Now that is a separate thing where he was talking about Kaya Sakhi and all that. So that's a, that's a separate thing. So this is one part, that is another part. And there are a lot of suttas where Buddha explains that. He will combine it because Ubhuta Bhaga, you ultimately has to go like this, it joins together. And I understood this way. Nowhere it is written, but my understanding Ubato means uh, Rupakaya and Namakaya. You get free from Rupakaya as well and Namakaya so Ubato. Exactly. And uh, another meaning is 
the samta as well as vipassana so over to so which one is applying to tell me no 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 in order to come to ubatho your nama roopa paricheda gnana should be 100% hmm. that's a prerequisite yeah. and hence it is explained in the last upatha bhaga cheto vimukti is in the yuganda actually because you have to balance the five five indriyas but when a person is only panya vimukti pure panya vimukti he is not free from nama kaya he is not free from rupa kaya but he is released is it please <laughs> yeah so that is where you have to understand right yeah. whereas you whereas you get into fifth jhana right you are free from rupa kaya completely correct right correct. and now you are dealing with nam kaya correct clear on this okay now again if you want um, further detail on that we can go but all of these are cheto vimuktis now vipassana is many types when you come to vipassana vipassana is a separate thing vipassana is observing yatha bhuta gnana dasana okay now understand the word bhuta bhuta is not they write it think things as they are that is a very bad translation bhuta is when i say bhuta i am a bhuta actually that's a very good word in india indian languages they use the word bhuta what is bhuta means how it has become you are able to penetrate how it has become how vilas has become that is bhuta yatha bhuta gnana darshana is dasana is that you know how vilas is formed ahara samudaya yeah, yeah go ahead so the yatha you can do to take the word yatha as like as it is how how bhuta means become how it becomes yes how it has become So you know the process of becoming. Then you know. Then you are knowing it. Yes. So you are, you know the yatha bhuta. So they put it knowing things as they are. That doesn't make any penetration. So the vipassana is yatha bhuta gnana dasana. That is how thing has become. The thing has become due to a cause. That is hetu. and an effect pabhava so the buddha dhamma is cause and effect there is a cause and there is an effect so what's the cause and what's an effect the cause and effect is nama kaya rupa kaya to begin with right without that you can't even say some being is there so this nama kaya rupa kaya falling on the consciousness is what we call it as okanti it started okanti asati nama roopa so that that being there now you can define okay so this vilas is a definition of something existing how did he exist ahara samudayo roopa samudayo So he keeps on eating, and the rupa is arising. Ahara nirodo, rupa nirodo. So if there is no food given to that, it keeps on shrinking. Not vilas. Now I can say vilas has become lean, and if he is eating, I can say vilas has become fat. It's just a figurative way of saying something is growing fat and something is growing lean. nobody is growing fat and nobody is growing lean ah, now i understand the bhuta so then phasa samudayo vedana samudayo phasa samudayo sanya samudayo phasa samudayo sankhara samudayo now i know that ah the feeling that he is fat the feeling of lean is just a concept based upon the rupa 
करेक्ट नो हाँ जी यस रेडी गो एंड You are on mute. No, no, no. I didn't want to ask you because you know this is a very heavy loaded. You know, for me today's session is in the beginning about the vimuttis and all. Of course, what you you have started about this, you know, right now I can understand. Okay. But we have to do it, you know, means uh, alone. Because I'm a trainee, you know. Are you and all these people are the senior uh, trainees? No. no 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 worries so, so don't don't name it the moment you name it you are in trouble so all of us are in the same bracket including me we are all are sec unless arhat sec so don't make it as is a senior is a junior because then you create a concept of junior and senior which is not yatha bhuta gnana okay conceptualization will mislead you Mis yes yes so okay. don't conceptualize we are coming out of the concept so we are trying to say how it happens yes are you nippa pancha okay yeah so now thing is if i know the fat and the lean are the concept applied over the body and using a language i'm going to say vilas you are grown fat and in the mind i accept yes i am fat like are you after landing in bangalore he said vilas you have grown lean the very next statement after he was sitting next to me in the car he said you have you have grown lean yes that is true that is the convention way what if i seriously consider i am lean then i am in pain or i love being lean i am very happy right because it's a concept so the feeling is conceptual not real because the bhuta is neither happy nor unhappy it's become so now what i'm seeing is the the happiness is become because of the rupa the unhappiness has come because of the rupa and the rupa how did it arise because of food ahara samudayo rupa samudayo so phasa samudayo vedana samudayo now because there is a contact between the i and the sight there is a feeling i get that feeling that it looks good or it looks bad it's a conceptual then the sanya is also conceptual accordingly so because it is just said the sanya is also a concept so that means the perception is based upon the feeling yam vedeti tam sanjanati so now whatever i am feeling i am putting it then i am creating sankharas the preparation to talk or to do something or to adhere to mingle whatever it is right so that's exactly what i am doing why this is happening because nama roopa samudayo vinyana samudayo nama roopa nirodho vinyana nirodho so the five aggregates if i am seeing it with open eyes like this then i have reached sotapatti phala magga on my own how i got it is in that the most peaceful existence yes i do should i do samatha practice no because now i am in panya vimukti now i might ask without one one so one, in, one, in, in, one, minute, one minute one minute one minute one minute without janik how can you get there so that becomes an argumentative assuming that your mind is still or rather tranquil you can get this yes Yes. Yeah. So in short, in short, I can conclude that uh, yatha bhut nans seeing as it is or, or seeing how it become is vipassana and it it is seeing the ps the paticca samudpad. Samudpad. Yes. Right. So in total, we can say ps is equal to vipassana is equal to this. Yeah. Vipassana overall is paticca samudpad only. There is nothing else other than that. There is no other vipassana. 
So there are two parts of it in again vipassana, which is uh, paticca samutpanna and paticca samutpada. If you are penetrating into the pati samutpanna, you will get to see why the birth happens, why death happens. So if I start from the jara marana, so then jati pache jara marana, then if I go back, why this jati? Because bhava pache jati. Why bhava itself? Because upadana pache bhava. Then I go back and I see why upadana? Because tanha pache upadana. Then I find out why tanha craving is happening because I am feeling Vedana. Why the feeling? Because feeling is arising from the six sense doors. Salaitana. Why the salaitana is getting that is because of the phasa. Why the phasa is because of a nama rupa. Why the nama rupa is because of vinyana. Why the vinyana is because of sankhara. Why the sankhara is because of avijja. Why the avijja is because of asava. So now I have covered up. All of it. Yes. Go ahead, Arya. Not you. Okay. Okay. So now this way of seeing, this is seeing means penetration, is vipassana. Okay. So that's what panya vimukti would be. Now, Panya Vimukti with Cheto Vimukti, if I add, that is, I get into Atta Vimukha and Panya, both together in some combination, it is Panya Vimukti plus Cheto Vimukti. If I only do through the Cheto Vimukti, wherein I get the release completely without Asavas, that is Akupa Cheto Vimukti. Meaning, I don't have to do the Vipassana, but I was able to get into the Asavai Khaya Jnana itself. Yes. yes so, if you, if you just follow uh, Chula Sunyata Sutta and do not read anything, you right? will get into Akupa Cheto Vimukti. At the end. At the end. I don't require Masati Pathana, I don't require anything. Right? I just have to go by Chula Shunyata Sutta. Maharahula Vada Sutta, MN62. It gives you release from both. That is Ubato Bhaga Vimukti. Release from both parts. How and why? Because five aggregates, Vipassana. Then the four de deliverances, which is where you have uh, metta, karuna, mudita, upekha, and then the anapana sati. That takes care of ubatha, ubatho bhaga vimukti. How? How is different from panya plus? How, how panya plus cheto is different from ubatho? One thing. And uh, if we just follow Mahasati Patan Sutta, it is only panya, right? No. Both are no. there. Both are there. So explain this, how Ubato is different from pan, the how fifth Vimukti as you have numbered, right? The fifth is Panya plus Cheto hmm. and sixth is Ubato. Correct. So difference between these two. Panya Vimukti is only Panya Vimukti. Now what I do is I combine along with Panya, not with Ch Cheto. It's the other way around, not with Cheto. I am in Panya Vimukti all the time. Now I so start. First panya, first panya, then Cheto is Panya plus Cheto. Uh -huh. Plus first Cheto, then Panya is Uvato. Uh -huh. yeah. Bhikkhu Punaji also said exactly said that when you get into ninth jhana and come back, when you get into eighth jhana, it is Cheto Vimukti. Then when you get into ninth and come back, that means when you come back, Panya happens. Correct. Panya happens. Then you are Ubhato. Yes. That's right. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, so, so I'm just wondering, because in the sutta, <laughs> uh, when the, the Buddha said uh, Chaitu Vimuti and Nampanya Vimuti, it's a fairly general way of referring to it. I guess it would mean like, 
Oh, I guess first question. When you're in that eight ways of Chaitanya Vimutti in the Mahaveda Sutta, it does not mean you, you, you have the Panya. It doesn't not mean you're fully liberated forever. It just means you're in the state of Chaitanya Vimutti. He has so given with... both. He has given both, but the initial portion talks about what is Chaitanya Vimutti. Okay. Now, can I get into the Akuppa Cheto Vimukti using Mahavedala Sutta? Yes. Can I get into the Akuppa Cheto Vimukti uh, with using Chula Shunyata Sutta? Yes. Can I get into Cheto Vimukti using Maha Shunyata Sutta? Yes. Can I get into Cheto Vimukti using Maharahula Vada Sutta? No. Why? Because it's a Ubato Bhaka. There's huge difference for that. And Sati Patan, Sati Patan, Patan is both. 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 Three now you might three. ask how, 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 how both, how both, why both? Both mean Ubato or both mean P, P plus C? Ubato, Ubato. This is Maha Sati Patan is Ubato. So, Sabbakaya Pati Samvedi, Asasi Samiti Sikkati, Sabbakaya Pati Samvedi, Pasasi Samiti Sikkati. Those two, if you practice, it has both. It has vipassana, it has samatha. Pasambayankaya sankharan is topping of sankhara, which is asapasa. Then he starts with vipassana, which is asas, that pasambayankaya sankharan has happened. Then put it some vedi. Now you need to break this. Psychological form, which is Nama Rupa or Namakaya, and you have to cut the, the sensation of the form, which is the Rupakaya. So you should have Nama Rupa Paricheda Jnana, which is Vipassana. And then you will be able to cut Iti Ajattam Va Kaya Kaya Nupasi Viharati, Bahidda Va Kaya Kaya Nupasi Viharati. Ajatta Bahiddhava Kaya Kaya Smin Viharati Samudaya Dhammanu Pasiva Kaya Smin Viharati Vaya Dhammanu Pasiva Kaya Smin Viharati uh, uh, Then what is that? Samudaya Vaya Dhammanu Pasiva Kaya Smin Viharati Atthi Kayotiva Now this is the final release. Body is, just body is. That is what you are asking in that Kaya Sakhi. Okay. It takes care of everything whatever we have learned so far in Masati Pattana Sutta and that's the reason Buddha confidently says one who practices this for seven days will become an Arhat, one who fails that will become an Anagami because it has everything. Yeah, Kaya Sakhi is this but then why in that listing in the Sutta uh, uh, and I'm going to come to that. I'm going to go, hold on. Give me some time. It's we are already at one one hour of our speaking. Uh, Nobody is asking question except for you and uh, Ariu. I feel everybody is understood. So I I just want to see. So the basic tenant. It's it's too deep. Dhamma. What you have taken. That's the reason I told you, uh, Sachin. It's complicated. Okay. Since that question was asked, I didn't wanted to say no to it. So, in fact, when Bhim Reddy asked me yesterday, are we going, going to do this um, Masati Pattan, I said, let me finish this one and then... Yeah. In fact, on, on the internet also, no one is discussing about it. Yeah, I know that. Very, very rare, very rare. Yeah, so it's, a very, it's a very deep Dhamma. So, now, if I am practicing well, the Kaya brings in Vedana, Kaya Vedana brings in Chitta, to understand Kaya Vedana Chitta, you require Dhamma, which is the teaching. The worst translation is that Dhamma, they take it as something else. No, Dhamma is the teaching, not mind objects. Because it says Dhamma Nupasana, they think it's mind object. There is no mind object there. There are six things what he puts. One is Nivarana, where is the mind object there? Number two, what does he say? Five aggregates. Is that a mind object? Then number three, 
you are coming into salaitana is that a mind object then four it is bhujang then five it is the uh, what is that such it is dhamma not dhamma ah, that's not dhamma right it is dhamma sixth what will you get the six so secret source of masati pathana is if you understand the kaya the vedana is already there so one portion of going ka tradition which talks about kaya having feeling is correct but it doesn't talk about chitta because chitta and kaya are again nama roopa there is nothing separated out you, you you can't say that okay after a week i will do chitta anupassana there are some people who think after 6 months we have to do chitta anupassana there is nothing like that okay and on kaya and on chitta in between is the vedana if you apply the dhamma then you have taken one bhag samatha another bhag vipassana now you are seeing both of them together it is ubato bhag now you are vimukti from both sides one side of this one samatha or cheto vimukti another side of vipassana or panya now you are both panya vimukti and cheto true satipatthana that's the reason buddha says confidently he doesn't talk about sota panna nor sakadagami because they are very low it's only for anagamis masati pattana sutta is for a person who knows his sakadagami and he is going towards anagami that person should practice masati pattana sutta because in the end he get ubato bhaga vimukti now if i just want to practice say kaya kaya no perseverance all that it is just you are we are talking about breath meditation than anything else there's nothing nothing about <laughs> even even the first line if you cross na i said okay, yesterday yeah. that is satim upathapetwa then second line na long the breath is long you know it long it is not that way by default when your mindfulness is established you are about to your body is about to sleep so when you are about to sleep your breath is deep correct and then slowly slowly it becomes shallow 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 that is the meaning of the uh, the long breath and short breath we we are we are breathing sometime sometime it is short sometime it is long long that is actually fluctuation and fluctuation means you are breath observing mindfulness has not established yet okay so for those people who would like to read understand about different attainments i strongly recommend a sutta called as kitagiri sutta k i t a g i r i sutta tagiri sutta where in that the monk comes and misrepresents the buddha meaning he will ask tell me how anagami becomes and he say something and the buddha goes mad at it and then he start saying all of this in that you will find ubato bhaga then he says panya vimukti for these two people nothing more to be done then for the other people they have to do something so he says <coughs> kaya sakhi the person is able to get into all the eight jhanas but has not been able to penetrate so the sanyojana has partially cut okay then ditti pata that is 
they have not got into both of them, but they have understood something of it. Their ditty is changed. The view has like changed. Many, like many of us. <laughs> like many of us, correct. But you are good. Okay. Including Beam Reddy. So I want to tell him that your view has changed, which is good enough. Okay. Then there are people who are Sadda Vimukti. Okay. They. They, they don't have Atta Vimokha. They can't get into any jhana. They only have Sadda in Buddha. They say Buddha will take care of me. Because I love his Dhamma. I, I am with the Sangha. Yes, Sachin. Well, he is with, he's with some teacher and then he so much uh, trusts him Correct. that he is careless about studying, understanding and anything. Correct. He is freed just by being with that guy. Yes. So, so he is firmly rooted in Buddha Dhamma. Let's say I and Aryu, we have been talking about Sutta. So, the minimum we are is Saddhanusari. Saddhanusari. This sutta, that sutta, we have done R&D on almost all the suttas and uh, Aryu has uh, done PhD in sutta because the way he writes it, he and makes note of it. Otherwise, if it's no sutta, he would have left it. <laughs> yes. So, yes, yes, ready. Was the same case with Ananda? Yes. Since he has been associating with the Buddha. Yes. Till the last breath, but uh, he could not liberate. Correct. So, he will have Sadda Vimukta, but he has to work out. Then comes the lower ones. Dhamma Anusari, Sadha Anusari. <coughs> so, they just follow. Okay. The Dhammanusari have not experienced even one senses, that is Sati or Panya or Samadhi, like that. Except for Sadda, no other faculty is developed. The same thing with Sadda Anusari. Only Sadda is developed, no other faculty is developed. So, these people have to work out. Yes, are you? Oh, wait, are, are you finished? I have a question. Yeah, yeah, I'm finished. Go ahead. Uh, I have two questions. At first, is Vimutti uh, basically synonymous with Nibbana? Can you say that? Vimukti leads to Nibbana only, right? What is Vimukta? Meaning released. When you, when you are holding something, you have released it, it is Nibbana. Nothing like getting into Nibbana. That's a wrong word. I want to get into Nibbana, means that there is some activity. Mm. So, not holding is Nibbana. Not holding sense. is Nibbana. No, no happiness there, not free of unhappiness is happiness. Yeah. Different question, uh, sorry. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Yeah, this, I'm just curious. You can answer with three sentences if you want, but I'm, I'm wondering these other spiritual teachers, let's say, Ramana Maharshi, that these people will be in some kind of vimutti, right? Or these they're very good ones, right? And they are they, you know, but we cannot say if this is or that and because we is, don't know. I don't want to take it here because it would be rather confusing and rather worrying, and then you will get into all kind of things. Then what's the difference between Buddha Dhamma and this one and that one? It goes in some other I and Asad had a discussion a few days ago and we spoke for two hours on this from all religion to everything. And then he understood, oh, it is there here also, it is there here also. I said, yes, it is there. It is there. If you don't know, it's fine, but it is there. The final deliverance is different. Final deliverance means Arhat para Samapati is different. But as far as Sota, Parna, Sakadagami, Anagami goes, there. Like Jesus may have metta and then he is the Mimukti because Why? of metta. If you take Jesus Christ, he has four Brahma Viharas. Akamana. 
vimutti. Apaimman ja vimutti, I say. So vimukti is release. The mind has some dirt. It is released out of that mind. That's all. What, whatever you want to call that as. The dirt no longer exists at that moment. Or is released. Clear. So even more detail I can go. I don't think so. It is necessary and we can go through the sutta and all of that. Which is, I think it will be too much without really experiencing it. So this is the Ubhato Bhaga Vimukti is the ultimate. Because you have balanced all the five Indriyas and now you can go on Vipassana and Samatha all the time. Not necessitating between should I do Vipassana first or should I do Samatha first. This is exactly what was covered in the Uganda Sutta by Sariputta and then in the Pati Sambhidda Magga Pali under Uganda. You will find the entire detail. It is a 26 page. If you were to understand that, if you are really keen on that, it's 26 page. Yes. We, we have like uh, six people here. We can get six different of uh, Vimuti and talk about our experiences some yes. years later. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, conclusion, summary. Just Practicing Samatha, breath meditation or mantra or even Buddha, Buddha, something like that or watching your body movements, Zen meditation, all of that is the first level, this Samatha, including the book Mind, Mind Illuminated. It's a good one. All tricks and tricks, all tricks, if you do this and that, sitting meditation or standing meditation, walking meditation, uh, which has meditate as an object to, to focus on all our samatha. All our samatha. No, no, I don't want samatha. No, 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 that is foolishness. You, you require samatha. Clear. Now, you add little bit of vipassana. How does he explain that in the... Uh, Anapana Sati Katha, you can see that Sariputta explains through a tree how you can apply the vipassana. There's a little bit of vipassana there, which is talking about Anicca Dukkha Anatta. That kind of adding it up is Chitta Vibhukti with Panya Vibhukti. Or more Samatha, little bit of vipassana. Then the third one is Panya Vimukti. You are only on the investigation, investigation, investigation. What it is, what it is. Yatha Bhuta Jnana Dasana. How things have become. I want to know. So you get wisdom. The light of wisdom shines much brighter than the Samatha. That is Panya Vimukti. Before that, you have the Akuppa Chetu Vimukti, which is unshakable deliverance of the chitta, which means that he has penetrated without the need for vipassana. Like in the case of Chula Shunyata Sutta, as an example. Okay? You, are, you, are, you are able to do that. Then this Panya Vimukti we just now spoke. Then Panya Vimukti with Cheto Vimukti. That is, is, you start with Panya, not like the Cheto Vimukti uh, plus little bit of Panya Vimukti. In fact, you are starting with Panya Vimukti and you are able to establish eight Atta Vimukha in, in that order. Then, or um, there's another Sutta. I forgot that which I said earlier on. Okay, uh, that one. There are four. One is Kaya, another one is the Chakku. Okay, another one is Sati, another one is Panya. Kaya is Atta Vimokka, that is eight deliverances through the body. Chakku is to see the arising and passing away of beings. Then Sati is your past life regression. Panya is the, the Asava Khaya Okay, if anyone 
anyone is able to do this in cheto vimukti this four in cheto vimukti then he gets into what he gets into akuppa cheto vimukti unshakable deliverance of the mind so kaya sati chakku panya is other four then what i require to have vipassana with or rather panya vimukti plus cheto vimukti and then ubato bhaga cheto vimukti mahasati pathana sutta maha rahula vada sutta anapana sati sutta is again ubato bhaga cheto vimukti Which sutta is panya plus cheto? Wow, very good question. Let me think one, it over. One twenty one. Ah, one twenty one is there, but there are others which are easier. Okay, later you will move for sir. Yes. Uh, quick question. I forgot if you covered this in the Uganda sutta. There is a fourth way, right? It's getting restless by the Dhamma. So which one is that again? Don't take that for now. I just gave Uganda. How much will you read? You you read and then we'll take it up. Don't take too many things. Uganda teaches what is vipassana and what what is samatha and that restlessness is generally related to the nature of uh, anagami not able to move into arhat phala. Since you asked, I wanted to reply. At least little bit I had to reply. Yes, me. Go ahead. You mentioned about the light of wisdom. Um, it was just uh, the the, the Paul Seado in um, a Burmese monk. He talks about the light of wisdom, but this is like through samatha. You know that you actually see through your breath. Like you know, the breath becomes visual. Like uh, they called it the light of wisdom. So you have to see this. <laughs> have to see what? The light of wisdom. I mean, I don't know if that's what everybody who, who does um, maybe samatha med- meditation gets or not. That is But counterpart I'm... sign. That is called counterpart sign. Yeah. Uh, counterpart nimitta. So the 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 breath is an object dhamma. But then you are seeing breath itself as a light. So ultimately, it is nothing but an object only. But in a different form, you are seeing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's about it. I think so. Unless you have further more questions. And maybe uh, after after few months we will come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This this takes good amount of time. So don't 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 take it too much. And then I'm not going to talk about different types of arhat in each one of these category. There is arhat. How that works. How you enter. and i because i know where i am stuck i am able to see all of this i am stuck in two steps if i release that two steps i know how to do it but i am not able to break it so i am becoming restless that question what you asked are you that restlessness is increasing at why 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 right i need to do something about it okay. if that happens let's say then release so Uh, Ananda became restless on the last day, na? No? Yes. So I'm able to do everything. I know only two steps where I'm faltering. Out of the fourteen steps, I explained you eight. I did did not explain you the other six. Uh, are you gonna do that? Are no, you gonna not today. That? We'll 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 take it up. No, not today. Not today, but. Uh... Some other day, unless you are at uh, Sakada Gami level, it becomes difficult. So let's take it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said we should not ask small, small question. Actually, technical question. We should feel it and come back after three per month. Yes, I think yeah. these, these people who are restless will cut their the wrist right in the suttas. Yeah, these yeah, people yeah. are like you. Yeah, like, for now, that. for now, what I should do is that just get into the intention. Chetana for which you should have a interest, which is chanda. chanda. Then have an aditthana, 
that yes, I want to practice. I will spend this much time or whatever it is. And then get into the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. Then you get into Chaga, that is to give up. Give up. That will help you in Nekkhamma. And then with Chaga being there, you will be able to experience a Sota Patta Patti Phala Magga, a Magga Phala, which is, you will be able to see the five aggregates of what I just now spoke about, that Panya Indriya will work. So the Panya Indriya working is that you know how Vilasas come to be. Ahara Samudaya, Rupa Samudaya. And Vilas, when he sees on the video, there is no Vilas as such, it's just the body, there's no... So there's no feeling. So Upekha is seen. If I am Vilas, the person who is seeing there, either I like that or I don't like it. If I see white hairs, I don't like it. If I have see dark hairs, I like it. Because in my mind, I feel dark hair means younger, white hairs means old person. So the Sanya will be that I am an old person or I am getting aged. The Sankhara is to make sure that I don't feel old. I am a mad guy, right? I go to the market, buy the hair dye and I, I myself will put here, which is idiotic. The color is changed, but that doesn't change the original white thing. Yes, uh, May, go ahead. So if you, if you just have equanimity when you look at yourself, what does that mean? Sorry, I, mi I might have missed the first bit what you were saying. <laughs> if you are equanimous, it means that that you are not taking side, meaning the Vedana is equanimous or rather neutral. Feeling is neutral. If I don't feel anything for this, whatever I am seeing, not as mine, myself, for sure, that means I am a Sotapanna. Clear? So with the intention of what? Intention of not getting attached to one's own body removes the Sakha Aditi. Then the Sila Bhatta Paramasa is not there because there is no doubt. I don't have any doubt on, on Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Because I am able to see, when I see this video, like the other day I and my wife were watching the same video what I had shared. And we watched for the whole one hour and odd. I never felt at any point in time, it's me who is speaking. I never felt. Which means I'm a Sotapanna. Now... But does it mean, does it mean a Sotapanna would be able to do that? Like what you described? No, I'm a I'm for much more higher level, right? A minimum, I can say that, oh, I'm Sotapanna. Then Sakadagami, do I have interest in this body? No. Kama Chanda is far reduced. Vyapada is far reduced. So, Sakadagami. Do I don't have any attachment towards this at all, including the wife and son and all that in the house and all that, and are you as much as you've seen me in Bangalore or even Sachin has seen, Shreyas has seen, he's left. But if you see, yeah, he's different. That means either Anugami, Anagami or Anagami. And now the fourth is Arha. So you can see for yourself. So if I have the Sadda, which is Buddha Dhamma Sangha, and Sila, how does it develop? Because of the intention and the Adithana. So you will have Sila. Then you have Buddha Dhamma Sangha, which is definitive that you are a Sutapanna. Because you have Chaga, Tyaga, you have given up. This body, mind, feeling that this is I am. That is gone. But now I know I to work as Sakadagami. And then Anagami, then Arha. Right, so this is what I can see. Okay. Okay, thank you. Shall we end? I know uh, uh, beam ready, it is very heavy for you. I don't know, it's like having uh, three meals at once. Yeah, the Vimuti topic is a little bit more high level, you know. Some of it went over my head, but uh, I'll, I'll probably re-listen to this at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beam ready, you are on mute. Can, 
Shall I my meals in parks, you know, tomorrow alone can we do? Because perhaps, you know, they may not enjoy because they have already. So can you tell me in the park what you told everything today? No, no, we will come back to Sot, the Masati Pathana Sutta where we started. No, what he is asking, this can you come back, come come in part two. But later, yeah, yeah, maybe can, one, on one, you, one on one, you can discuss. Yes, yes. Yeah, we can do that. Absolutely no doubts. So, you don't have to go so detailed into Vimukti. You mm -hmm. need to know that these are the Vimukti, what you have. Because we use this word Vimukti and in some suttas, Buddha uses Akuppa Cheto Vimukti. Then in some places, he says... Cheto Vimukti, then in some places he says Panya Vimukti. So majorly you are only seeing this many Vimuktis, but there are other Vimukti as well. So I just wanted to give you a complete picture of six. What is the Acha, what is the sutta which covers all these uh, Vimuktis? Is, uh, then you have to read Anguttara Nikaya to Sanyukta Nikaya to Majjima Nikaya to Dhiga Nikaya and Khuddaka Nikaya and all that. A.N. 9.43. Yeah. There are many suttas. Many, many, many. Many suttas, not one, two like that. If you just go on the suttacentral.com and then in that, there's a search button there on the right hand side. You just give Vimukti, P I M U T T I, and you'll get so many suttas with has Vimukti. But beam ready, that is not important. What is important is understanding what is Vimukti rather than knowing which sutta talks about Vimukti. And in every sutta, he will give you a brief. Uh, even I did not understand, you know, much about the jhanas which you are talking about up to you went up to the nine jhanas today. Correct. Mentioned, you know, Ari was talking something. I did not get anything. That's okay. Don't worry. So we can uh, go through the jhana. You can, I can tell you how to get into the Normal eight jhanas, normal means itself is abnormal. So then the Buddha way of jhana. So there are differences between that. You should first get into the first jhana. That's the starting point. And you should know that you have penetrated into the first jhana. Then only it works. In layman term, in layman term I can say there are two kinds of freedom. One is freedom by concentration concentrating on something like Correct. a brief and another is freedom by understanding understanding who am i basically but it's samutpada is nothing but asking who am i exactly appreciated <laughs> for this final uh, what is that last nail in the coffin you put it right so one i want to concentrate samadhi one i want to know who am i is Pati Samutpada. So Vipassana on one Pati. side. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, nothing. Vipassana is equal to Pati, Pati Samutpada is equal to understanding. And the concentration of Samadhi is ninth jhana. So both culmination, that is Pati Samutpada, with the ninth jhana, you are able to establish all the time between these two is Ubato Bhaga. Like we have red, green and blue three color, but we can make thousands of color out of it. Like that we can use this combination of these two and everyone is different so. Yeah. So how many types of Vimukti? Six kind. Clear. Okay, good day everyone, then meet you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm in office, so we still can meet. If Shreyas is joining, then we can ask him to record. Otherwise, we'll do it without record. And uh, uh, when we meet, we, we will start with Mahasati Pattana. So if anybody wants to take advantage of it, enjoy. We'll practice what I meant to say. Okay, bye.